It's never easy to do an interview after a Game 7 defeat, so we certainly appreciate the time of Brendan Painter, who is the Director of Hockey Operations of the Caledonia Corvairs. Uh, a full building tonight, really a great back and forth game. You guys come out on the short end of it. Um, you know, what would you like to say about your players and just the guts and the fight in this series, Brendan? Yeah, you know, all series long, um, just resilience mm -hmm. uh, on both sides. I think that uh, obviously this could have went either way tonight. Yep. Um, Puck luck had Fort Erie coming out on top. Can't say enough good things about both organizations, the support we had from the community. Uh, this building was full. It was so awesome to see. They're still out here showing support for their team, you know what I mean? Like, to have them come all the way down, yeah, it was awesome. I think there is no better commercial for the Great Ontario Junior Hockey League than what we witnessed tonight. Almost 1,500 people in this building. A great third period. Uh, both goaltenders are outstanding. Let's quickly, though, Brendan, touch on your overagers. Obviously, this is a difficult night for them. What kind of impact have they had on this organization, and what would you like to say to those kids tonight? Yeah, we, we touched quickly uh, in the room, and it's emotional, obviously, um, being on this side of it. and Just so proud of them, um, guys that we brought here. Uh, Lamel, Baltzer, Dampy, guys that uh, that were, were here for a long time. It's yeah. just it's it's tough tough to put into words. I'm so proud of them, and I hope that if they continue playing hockey, um, that they, they go places, and not just that. Just they're, they're such good people too. Yeah. Yeah. That that's a big thing, and we want them to succeed off the ice just as much as on the ice. The positives of the season are obviously an incredible regular season, a first place finish, and just the community support here in Caledonia. Huge crowd tonight. Uh, what would you like to say to this area, just about what they've done, how they supported these boys? Tough loss tonight, um, but one game does not define a season either. No, Brendan no, Painter. No. Uh, yeah, we thank the community so much, and um, just from starting out here back in 2012 getting 50 fans to now selling the rink out at 1500 people tonight it's it's really special uh obviously wish we could have got the win for them yeah. and uh got them to see that but that's the way it goes i'd also like to take a moment here to personally thank brendan and montel golf and country club as well as big pete steakhouse they've been a big part of our 519 coverage here the past couple of months so certainly appreciate you brendan yeah. thanks so much for the time obviously a tough loss but tell those kids hold their heads high um great season and you know you'll yeah. be back in september i know you will 100 i just want to give a quick shout out to uh nick passero and the fort Erie meteors uh you know it was one hell of a series um those guys have done so much good for Fort Erie, Nick and Anthony, and I know that uh, I know that their dad would be pretty proud of them on that one, and uh, yeah, I just can't can't thank them enough, Tim Simmons, uh, Craig Spada, what they've done with the league, and uh, yeah, just we're, we're happy to be a part of it, and uh, we'll be back next year.